Hi. So, you know, this Pondercast could be very useful to you on New Year's Eve. It could get you right to midnight. It's got a countdown and everything. If you hit play at 11.51 p.m., wherever you are, I promise to get you to the new year. And Joshua Van Tassel has composed your first piece of music for 2019, something that will hold very gently all your feelings and thoughts for the new year. I'm Laurie Brown. Let's ponder cast. Wow, what a weird day, huh? The day of the year spent thinking backwards and forwards at the same time, looking back over the year and trying to assign it a grade, and looking forward as to what the new year might have in store for us. Wait a minute, if we spend equal time in the past and the future, do they cancel each other out? Does that mean... We are finally in the moment. Nice try, Lori, but no. But before we get to your New Year's Eve, indulge me for a moment to look back over the Pondercast year. We started by aligning ourselves with Patreon, which is this way to help independent artists create a stable monthly base of funding to do what we do, supported by the people who appreciate PonderCast? Would people give us a small monthly donation to help us make this thing? Essentially, we were asking for you to pay for something that you could get for free. (laughs) Kind of crazy, eh? Um, And lo and behold, it's working. We have almost 200 patrons, and you people rock. I mean, we still don't pay our rent with PonderCast, but we are now covering our costs, which counts as a great start. So thank you, Pondercastronauts. Go to patreon.com slash pondercast to see how you can become a Pondercast patron. And what else? We brought you a lot of music over the last year, which is really hard to do in a podcast form, but we did. And we toured Yellowknife and Vancouver and Fredericton and St. John's and Halifax and Wolfville and Lunenburg and Toronto And we got ourselves some merch and put out our first album of PonderCast music. (laughs) So PonderCast feels really real. Looking ahead to 2019, more touring, more growing, starting a collaboration with CoLab Project out of Ottawa, meeting more of you, staying wide open to possibilities. So a big thank you for 2018 from me, Joshua Van Tassel, and Ty Johnston. That was our year. How was yours? Was this one of those years where you say good riddance to today? Or was it the best ever? Or somewhere in between? Insert your thoughts here. I've always thought New Year's Eve is very weird. There was a time when I was anxious to party like it was 1999 and felt the pressure to have the best night of the year. 
but I've let that go. Or it's let go of me, one or the other. How about you? Maybe you are home tonight. Maybe there was a nice meal. It's dark out. It's cold. Oh, you hardy northern people. And this New Year's Eve is urging you to turn inwards and reflect. And outflect. <laughs> really, Lori? Outflect to the year ahead, 2019. Outflect into a future. Um, do you feel that simmering low level dread? Maybe you have aging parents. Who will get sick? Who will shuffle off this mortal coil? You? Looking ahead is really not much of a comfort and a bit pointless because life is going to do what life is going to do. So shit, we're stuck right here, right now, as we approach that magic moment of midnight. And there are a million New Year's Eve rituals in the world, from banging pots and pans to sweeping the floors and opening the doors to sweep the old year out, to lighting huge bonfires and burning stuff, hang an onion on your door, eat 12 grapes, break dishes. Like I said, it is a very weird night. Here's a weird new word for your New Year's Eve. Lustrate. It is a verb, and it means to purify by means of rituals or ceremonies. It comes from a Latin root and ultimately from an Indo-European root, and it all comes from the word light. The same root that gave us lunar and lunatic and light and lightning and lucid and illuminate and illustrate and translucent. In other words, it's got great bones. Lustrate. To purify by means of rituals or ceremonies. Okay, right on. Let's lustrate. What about a lustration ritual just for you, a bespoke New Year's tradition? What would work for you this year? Think about it quick. We've just got a few minutes left before the clock strikes 12. Hmm. Burn all your single socks out on the balcony? Or burn your troubles? I have friends that write their biggest worry down on a piece of paper and then burn it and imagine their life without that worry. What do you want to leave behind in the 2018 history books? Your despair at the state of the world? Your fear about what happens next? Lustrate that crap, because here comes the countdown. Ten, what do you want to bring forward? Nine, an open-hearted, compassionate curiosity for the world. Eight, seeing what's within your reach that could use your help in your home, at work, in your community. Seven, might that help keep despair at bay? Six, will it keep us from becoming overwhelmed by the flood of bad news from the world? Five, stop us from shutting down. Four, lustrate. Three, create a bold new tradition right now or two, just be still and wait for it. One, because the bold new year, the bold new you is here. Happy New Year.